Good morning, wrestling fans. Welcome to another great and exciting edition of Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Television. I'm your host today, Kyle Maggard, and we're going to continue taking a look back at some of our championship matches of the past that can be found exclusively on the AMW Wrestling Network. Today's main event features a match from Mountain Mayhem of 2018 that happened over in McKee, Kentucky. Champion Stan Sierra defended his AMW Championship against the former WWF Hardcore Champion Al Snow. What a great exciting night that was right there in McKee. That's your TV main event. But what everybody's been talking about in the wrestling world comes down Sunday night right here on the AMW Wrestling Network, the first ever docu-series produced by Appalachian Mountain Wrestling on our president, John Noble, as we chronicle his career in professional wrestling. We're going to kick off today's program, though. We're going to give you an exclusive look at tomorrow's first ever docu-series, John Noble 1090, which parts one and two will premiere tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network. So here's your look, John Noble 1090. Fear is overrated, I promise that you can overcome it Keep on climbing till you finally reach in the summit Never back down, never go astray and Never pay attention to the words that they say You just put them The guy that takes a lot of pride in stepping in this ring I'm a guy that takes a lot of pride in being a professional wrestler I'm expecting the crutch, not expecting no help nope. You believe it, then you gotta see it through by yourself And when this light bites back and it's leaving you broke And Dang. even if a song fades, well that's a beacon of hope yeah, that's right. The most technically proficient professional wrestler Walking the face of God's green earth Pro, yeah. Never let them dictate whichever way that you go no. And if it's standing no. in your way, then you letting them know That the curtain's finally opened and it's time for the show I wanna be the best, I think I am the best Go, here we go. We will conquer all the oceans you can make. Smooth sailing, baby. We won't I ain't taking nothing. You know, they often say it's been well said that life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you deal with it. You Smooth sailing, baby. We won't say yeah, I ain't taking nothing. Scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Havana, Cuba, weighing 256 pounds, here is the Cuban Commando. Fans, we start off tonight's NCW Rampage with the Cuban Commando in the ring. Of course, the Cuban has got a very big feud going on with Killer Kurt, his former partner, and look at the Cuban trying to intimidate senior official Billy Biggs. But the Cuban Commando has made some uh, very good improvements over the last few months, of course, he had a uh, tour of Puerto Rico. He came back and threw a fireball right in the face of his former partner, Killer Kurt. And he's got a very tough challenge here tonight. And so he'll be taking on Johnny Noble, who's got a feud of his own. His opponent from Hazard, Kentucky, weighing 219 pounds, Johnny Noble. Johnny Noble. As we mentioned, a very big feud with his former partner, Eddie Browning, who now wants to be called adorable Eddie Browning. Johnny Noble comes to the ring now, and uh, of course, uh, Johnny is on his own and still showing, showing some signs of uh, injury there with the uh, ribs bandaged up. Of course, he has uh, taken some serious beatings, not only in the ring, but uh, as we saw in the parking lot in Kingsport, Tennessee, a couple of months ago. And, Eddie Browning really just uh, wants rid of Johnny Noble, and we're not really sure what the uh, situation is there. Johnny starts the chant of USA, and of course that gets right under the skin of the Cuban commando. Fans, our main event tonight features Southern shooter Todd Morton against a member of the first family, ruthless Roger Anderson. The Cuban is left. What in the world? The Cuban commando just walked out of the ring. He said that's it. I'm just uh, going out on a limb here. He doesn't like the USA champ. As the Cuban stomps around the ring and looks to square off here with Johnny Noble as the two lock up in the center of the ring. Fans will also hear from the Batten Twins, former NCW Tag Team Champions we saw two weeks ago. They lost the tag team titles to the Heartbreakers, Wild Child Andy Douglas and Hotshot Kelly Charles. We'll get uh, our first chance to hear from the Batten Twins 
as we go behind the curtain with Brad and Bart as we continue to feature this week on NCW Rampage. Right now the match in the ring is we'll talk about some more Johnny Noble and the Cuban Commando. The Cuban from Havana, Cuba. Johnny Noble comes to us from Hazard, Kentucky. He delivers a side headlock now to the Cuban. Locky then in Cuban with a handful of hair backing Johnny into the rope, shoots him across. Johnny, nice shoulder tackle, and now jumps over the Cuban commando, and the Cuban goes for the high hip toss, reversed by Johnny, and he delivers a hip toss of his own. Now a scoop slam on the big Cuban, and down he goes. The Cuban up to his feet, now backing up in the corner and falling down on that bottom turnbuckle. I think uh, the Cuban is not really uh, expecting the, the quickness of Johnny Noble here. He's been going after uh, Killer Kurt over the past few months, and you get a guy like Johnny Noble who comes in very quick and very agile, and uh, I think that takes the Cuban off of his game. Cuban Commando and Johnny Noble now locking up, and the Cuban raking the eyes and driving Johnny's head right into that top turnbuckle. The Cuban, again, likes to take those shortcuts, but there delivers a big open-handed chop and delivers another one to Johnny Noble, and Noble firing back. And the two are exchanging chops in the middle of the ring. And now Noble, with the upper hand, shoots the Cuban into the opposite side. But the Cuban was waiting for that. Kicked him right in the midsection. And now a nice maneuver by Johnny Noble as he reversed it. Rolling him up, trying to go for the pinfall. Nice little maneuver there. He's got a one and a two, and the Cuban rolls out of that. Cuban quickly to his feet, delivers a clothesline to Johnny Noble. And stomping on those ribs. Of course, uh, no real... Uh, surprise there that he goes to work on the ribs as Johnny has that taped up and he has for some time and you remember a few uh, weeks ago he came out to team up with Tracy Smothers he wasn't cleared to wrestle by the physicians but Johnny came out and wrestled anyway and now he's met with a big bear hug by the Cuban commando putting pressure right there on the small of the back at the same time taking the air out of the lungs of Johnny Noble and Noble clenching that closed fist. Referee Billy Biggs quickly in there and says, we'll have none of that. It's a good opportunity here for the Cuban to wear down Johnny Noble and take him off of his game. And referee Billy Biggs raising the hand now. Johnny Noble, he's got one. There's two. If he drops it this time, the Cuban is going to get the win. And no, Johnny trying to feed off the fans as they start the USA chant. Noble trying to fire back. That'll ring your bell right there. And Noble delivering the right hands right to the side of the head, but the Cuban again goes right back to work on the ribs. He delivers the knee to the midsection, now lines up Johnny for a big suplex, raises him high in the air, holds him, and is still holding him there, and finally drops him down. Boy, impressive maneuver by the Cuban commando with that high vertical suplex. Now he goes for the cover. He's got a one and a two and nearly a three count. Didn't hook the leg that time on Johnny Noble, and Noble is able to kick out. Now the Cuban trying to shoot Johnny into the opposite side. Nice Russian leg sweep by Johnny Noble to reverse that. So both men are down. Who will get to their feet first as referee Billy Biggs begins the 10 count? He's at two and now at three. Again, the fans starting the USA chant. The Cuban crawls over and delivers a shot right to the small in the back and in that rib area of Johnny Noble. And the Cuban again into the opposite side and a high vertical backdrop by the Cuban commando and Johnny Noble down once again. Now the Cuban going outside. Seeing the Cuban go to the top rope. What's he got lined up here? The madman from Havana, Cuba, balancing himself, positioning himself, diving off. He misses the leg drop. Johnny Noble rolls out of the way. Now is his opportunity to try to uh, get behind the fans or have the fans get behind him and try to come back on the Cuban here. Noble to his feet. He blocks the punch of the Cuban commando. And one more time, Noble, the right hands to the side of the head, on the Cuban. And again, wait, look from the back. From the back, Bo James and Roger Anderson are out. Noble delivers the elbow. And there we see interference there from Bo James and Roger Anderson. It's, it's three on one. A three on one here as they continue to work on the ribs. Help from the back. Here comes Todd Morton and Killer Kurt. Kurt immediately going for the Cuban commando. And Todd Morton going for handsome Bo James. Those four men have had quite a feud over the last few weeks, all squaring off in the center of the ring. Johnny Noble still trying to get to his feet. Roger Anderson coming in the ring. Now it's a two-on-one on Todd Morton, but Johnny Noble evens the score as he gets to his feet. Now the first family spills to the outside, and the three men left in the middle of the ring, Todd Morton, Johnny Noble, and Killer Kurt. 
This match has been thrown out by Billy Big. Fear is overrated. I promise that you can overcome it. Keep on climbing. This Sunday night, premiering on the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network, John Noble, 1090. We take a look back at the 23-year career of President and AMW superstar John Noble. His early days across the Appalachian Mountains to recently winning the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Presidency. This Sunday night, parts one and two premiere at eight o'clock exclusively on the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network. If you've not signed up, please do so today. Receive your free 30-day trial. The open then it's time for the show. And I'm just holding on to something and I won't let go. Here we go. Wrestling fans, now the very best wrestling action in the Southeast is at your fingertips. That's right, the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network is live and online. See the very best wrestlers today competing in traditional hard-hitting action straight into your living room. See legends of the ring like the Rock and Roll Express, Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant, Al Snow, Scott Hall, AJ Styles, and many more. Over 125 hours. For only $4.99 a month. Yes, it's $4.99 a month. But wait, if you sign up right now, you get a week absolutely free. See the very best from the Southeast and from other promotions all around the world. Go to www amwwrestlingnetwork.com today. Get your free trial and help make wrestling great again. Dictionary defines hero as a person who is admired or idealized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. Being a hero in life is far more than words printed on a page. It takes an unwavering code, a compass that points true north, always. And in times like these, it takes sacrifice. Hero shouldn't be a word defined by a dictionary. It's a word that should be defined by the best of us. Hero has a new definition. Are you a member of a church group? Are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling, fun for the entire family, earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make wrestling great. Welcome back, wrestling fans. It's time for today's television main event as we go to McKee, Kentucky, Mountain Mayhem. Champion Stan Sierra defended against the hardcore legend himself, Al Snow, the man who wrestled many years around the circuit here in the Appalachian Mountains of Smoky Mountain Wrestling. As what a great night that was. Let's take a look. And folks, there he is. Sexy Stan Sierra. Accompanied by Phil Fair. He is the champ. And he has spent the majority of his time in Appalachian Mountain Wrestling as the heavyweight champ here at AMW. For good reason, tough competitor in the ring. But Phil Fair giving him a bit of an unfair advantage on the outside as well. But tonight, no disqualifications as he takes on Al Snow. And we all know what Al Snow is capable of, women. Indeed, indeed. This is a no DQ match. Do you think that maybe Al's time and something like, I don't know, ECW prepared him for a no DQ match? ECW also a WWE hardcore champion, so yeah, he's multiple times. These are the th these this is his wheelhouse. And there he is. Partner with them. Yeah. 
Crowd electric for Al Snow. And Stanciera coming to the ring by Phil Fair. Al Snow coming to the ring by Head. Head, Head, obviously the enforcer of the duo. Folks, before we even get a chance to get things going here, no, no PA introductions, no anything. No DQ. We are ready for a fight. No disqualifications. The champ versus the challenger. Stan Sierra taking it to Al right from the get-go, not letting up sound strategy. I mean, keep on him. The referee can ask him to break the hold on the ropes all he wants, but can't DQ anybody here. fists from Al not being stopped by the referee as there's no disqualifications. And Al takes one to into the turnbuckle. Standing to the outside. Immediately realizing he's got some damage he can do out here at ringside. Oh. Still fair backing up. Oh my God. Stanciera oh, flying into the turn post. Right to the ring post and man, that's gotta hurt. And that that may be something oh, that Phil. lingers for a while. Oh, Phil was attempting to hit Al with the cane, got caught up. Oh, Stan recovered. And that's what Phil brings to the table here. Didn't hurt Al Snow. Just ticked him off enough to get him to lose his composure. And Stan Sierra back in control. here and not to be taken lightly. Sure, we're touting Al Snow, all his accomplishments, but I mean, these tactics work great for Stan Sierra, him with Phil Fair. I mean, during his first title run, he was AMW's longest reigning heavyweight champion. Oh, and again, Stan Sierra meets the ring post wildly. taking back control and these guys continue to battle on the outside. The referee looking on helplessly, counting, counting for no reason. And Al Snow, Stan Sierra. One thing that you can't take account, it's hard to take account for when facing Al Snow is the fact that Sometimes limit, he's just not all there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he will go to no limits because he has no limit. No, he's not affected by tactics. Sometimes he's not affected by reality. Working hard 
to retain this AMW championship. Al Snow grounded the former Smoky Mountain ECW WWE superstar. Really struggling against this basically two on one matchup here. Stan looks to be in his eyes right now. Stan Sierra distracting the referee as Phil Fair chokes Al Snow on the ropes. Although I think that tactic just out of habit at this point. Out of habit, but it's also legal in this match. Exactly, it's not, it's not, it's not a requirement. Al Snow really trying to find some footing here. Really needs a set of eyes in the back of his head to be able to compete in this matchup successfully. But that being said, he's still fighting. He's still in this. Stan's got him. Stan's got Al down on the mat. Phil Fair taunting Al from ringside. the crowd as he really just in cruise control at this point. And Phil Fair back at it again. Bear hug applied from Stan Sierra trying to squeeze the very breath out of Al Snow. After working Al's midsection with that knee earlier, it's a sound strategy. Al Snow down to one knee. Back up. Is he biting Stan Sierra? I can't tell, but it's perfectly legal if he is. Maybe he's just fighting from this vantage point. Hard to tell, but you never know what you get from Al Snow. But you've got a fighter tonight who wants that AMW championship. He wants this belt. Al looks to be faded. This might be it. Oh, 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 oh. He's fighting back. And Stan Sierra may be in for a world of hurt. Oh, slung to the ground by Al Snow. But Stan Sierra clobbers him with a clothesline. The champion, just a real impressive showing all around. As he goes for the body slam. Oh. 
Sierra says it's over. He's going up from the second row. The champ looking to fly. <laughs> Misses oh. with the flying elbow drop from the second rope. Missed that arm already hurt earlier. Going into the ring post. He's trying to shake it off. And Snow up to a foot, up to oh. a knee. Fighting. Feel fair up on the turnbuckle. Snow better watch it. Oh. Feels wrapped up out. There's nothing the ref can do. Oh! And Al oh, Snow. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. He's got head. And now oh. Stan Sierra takes it to the face. That is it. We have a new AMW champion here at Mountain Mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, a new AMW heavyweight champion, Al Snow! And when, from the moment we saw him, Walked through the curtain the first time. You had to know this was coming, Lemon. He's had the eye on the title the entirety. He's been in AMW. He's made it well known. And, uh, and this is one time where the tactics of Stan Sierra and Phil Fair completely backfired in the most spectacular way possible as Stan knocked Phil from the apron and then uh, well, got a little head. Takes the head to the head. Stan Sierra and Al Snow, heck of a match. Folks, there you have it, today's program. Hope everybody's still staying safe out there in the pandemic time. Uh, we'll be right here again next week, same time, right on this station. We'll see you at ringside.